Hello everyone, this is Lisa from JDS Industries. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our product templates that we have available for you on our JDS Industries website. Today I'm going to be working in CorelDRAW. Um, this is X7 version or 2017 version. And the, to get started, we're going to go into our Google Chrome and we're going to go to the JDS Industries website and we're going to log in. Okay, once you're logged in, all you have to do to get the template is to put in the part number. And today I'm going to be doing a luggage tag, and that is part number UN5503. And this is a sublimation template. And you can also get engravable templates for the engravable products, um, as far as any of the, like the crystal and glass and acrylic products, and any of the gift items as well. So once you pull up the part number, you can see below the pricing information, we have a link for the template, if there is one. If there is not a template, then this link will not appear. So if you just click on it, then it will automatically download. Now, if this does not work for you, sometimes it depends on what browser you're using or there might be a technical difficulty, there is another location you can get the templates uh, off of. And so that what you, how you do that is you go up to the very top toolbar of the web page and you go to the Resources tab. So you see in here there's a several different options for you to use. Um, you can go right into the Dropbox Download Center and that will take you into where you can download images and catalogs and um, templates and other information in there. If you want to only use and want to get into the templates, you can just go right over to the Dropbox Product Template Download. That will take you right to the right folder. Um, you can also go to the FTP site download center. Those should be mirroring the Dropbox, um, but most people like the Dropbox. It's just much easier to get to. It is not actually linked to our site, so it's kind of independent. So if our site goes down, you can still get your, your, drop, your templates off of that site. So if we just click it, it'll take you right to it. And in here is the folders um, corresponding with the catalog. So we're going to look for a sublimation product. So we're going to open that up. Okay, and if you want to do a control F as in Frank or find, and you can just put in that part number. And it should take you right to it and it will highlight the one. So you can just click on it. Or click on the little word for it and it'll bring up a, a preview of the template. Sometimes if the template is too big you may not see the preview and that's fine as long as it brings up a page and you have the option to download. So you just go up to the top uh, right, click on download and hit direct download and then it will download down, you can see it's down the bottom here. Okay so once I've downloaded that I'm going to minimize that. Now I'm going to go back over to my Corel, I'm going to start a new document and I'm going to import that template. So I'm just going to go to File, Import. And I'm going to go into my Downloads. That's where it's at. You see I've downloaded it several times and that's fine. Import it. And you want to import it as curves. Just in case if there's any text in that template, then you don't have to worry about having that same font. And you won't have those issues. So just click and drop it in. Now in this template, it gives you the part number and it tells you what the two lines are for. The black line is the bleed edge. So if you have a background image, you want to take that beyond the sides of the product so that you'll have full coverage. The red line is more of a guideline. So you don't take anybody's face or any text beyond that area so it doesn't get cut off when you're actually sublimating it. Now the engravable templates will not have the outer edge uh, line because you just you don't, don't use a bleed edge on those products. So if you do use the templates for the engravable products, you're just going to have uh, most likely just one line to work with. Okay, so and this is the product template for the, t the luggage tag. And you see we even added the, a guideline so you know where the hole is for where you put the, the um, strap through. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup this. So you can go to Object, Group, and ungroup objects and then we can get rid of this text. I'm just going to delete that and that leaves us with just the lines. 
Okay, so now that we have the template in, we're going to import our image that I want to put into that template. So I'm going to just go to File and Import, and it is on my desktop, and it's right here, this image here. We're going to import it, drop it in. You can see it's very much bigger than what we need it to be, so I'm just going to size it down just by clicking and dragging one of the corner little nodes there. Now I want to fit this in the template. You can see right now it's above it and it's covering up the template and we can't see where the boundaries are. So I want to place the photo behind the template so I can have, see those guidelines. So I'm just going to go to Object and Order and move it to the back of the page or the shortcut is Control End, meaning the Control key and then plus add the End key so you're holding them down at the same time. Okay, so that moves it behind, and you can readjust it even farther if you need to. If you zoom in, get it down right to that black line. And that should be good. And make sure, and I'm only actually going to flip this because I don't want this hole covering up my flowers. So I'm just going to flip the image and up here, the mirror horizontally, that moves it, flips it over so that the flowers aren't being covered up. I'm actually going to move that over just a little bit. I want more flowers in the template. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to actually um, make this actually fit to the template so I have the exact um, shape that I need. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the power clip option. And what that does, is it actually masks the photo with the outline of the template. So how you do that, you just actually select the photo, don't select the frame and you go up to Object, and then Power Clip, and Place Inside Frame, and you'll see this little arrow here, and you just set that right on the edge of the line of the frame that you want to drop that into. And I didn't do it quite right, so I'm going to try it again. It's a little tricky sometimes. There, we got it that time. And you just drop it in there, click on it, and it'll drop right in there. Now once it's in there, you do have some options. If it's not quite where you want it to be, you'll see you get this little menu down below your, your uh, template and image. And so the first little button here that temporarily takes it out of the power clip. So if you click on that, you'll see it comes out, but the, power, the uh, template actually turned blue. And that's just showing you the guideline where, um, where it was power clipped into just so you have an idea of where it was if you want to move that around you know where the actual template still is okay so then we would when you're done editing it you just click the stop editing contents and it puts it right back in you can also uh, select the power clip contents and basically you're just selecting all it does is it tells you how big that that photo is that we put in there you really can't move it around or anything without editing it just more options. Okay, this third one is to extract the contents, and what that does is that permanently takes it out of the power clip, and then so you can change photos or something like that. You want to completely take it out, it just extracts it right out of there, and you have to start over then. Okay, and then the last one is locks it to the power clip, so you can't accidentally take it out. Okay, so once we get that all in, and if you want to add text to it, you could do that at this time. And then once you're ready to print, you want to make sure you delete any of these red lines because you don't want these. These will actually um, show up on your product or on your transfer when you print it. And you don't want that because you don't want that red line uh, actually sublimate onto your product because that wouldn't look very good. So you're going to delete that and also delete your circle so it's ready to go. And you could even take that outline off of the the edge and you just do that by going to your your top of your swatch uh, list and just uh, right click on the the one with the white box with the X in it that's a, the remove swatch so left click actually removes the fill which there is no fill on this but and then the right click removes the outline so we're going to remove that black outline okay so now this is ready to print if you have any questions about this product or any of our other processes or have any questions about our templates, you can sh definitely give us a call at 800-843-8853 or you can send us an email at sales at jdsindustries.com.